Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 23rd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Etero where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically found a bottom here, give or take at 91. So we have been rallying today and uh, that has basically have massive effects on, for example, indices and, and the stock market and, and also most commodities as they are basically priced in the US dollar. And when this appreciates, then they basically become more expensive to buy and less demand is uh, for them. So they're basically, basically breaking down. We are most likely going to find major uh, resistant here at the 20 exponential which probably is going to cross the 50 moving average in the next uh, day or two so that is going to be uh, downward pressure for uh, the us dollar index uh, but if you break above this then you have the 200 moving average here break above that that could open the door to the previous highs up here Tech indicators they are all favoring the upside macd is still underneath the signal line but these indicators are turning around and they are favoring the upside at this current stage so let's look at oil so oil has um, basically broken down towards the middle of the Bollinger Band and have, has found support here. So technical indicators are all over the place, so they're not uh, very helpful. But break below the middle of the Bollinger Band, that opens the door to the very bottom. That's at uh, 57.66. Rallies from here will find resistance at 63.91. And uh, yes, that is kind of where this basically is going. We are basically trading within this very small range. And break down from here, opens the door to the 55, uh, 57, and then is 63 up here. So let's look at natural gas. So this has, uh, first of all, did fall today and then rallied yet again. And uh, now we're most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential moving average and the 50 moving average. And that is a very bullish sign. We can see that right here when this basically crossed, we can see that we basically fell quite a bit. So we could see this rally when this basically crosses. Technical indicators are all, well, they're fairly bullish at this point. The CCI is bullish, the stochastic is flat, and the MACD is bullish, and so is the RSI is also flat. So um, we basically pulled back towards the 50 moving average, and that offered a massive amount of support. So Momentum is kind of at the moment to the outside. Very surprising considering what time of year it is. So most likely we're going to target a tree. So let's look at copper. So as you can see, we have uh, rallied this week um, quite a bit. We're trading at the 4.257 at this current stage. We're finding quite a lot of resistant, uh, some resistant here and are pulling back quite a bit, so nearly half a percent. Technically, indicators they are either becoming flat or becoming bearish at this point. So we could see this round off and head back towards the uh, 20 exponential at uh, 2.1269. But uh, and that will most likely offer quite a lot of support. So uh, pullbacks at this current stage are are possible buying opportunities as pullbacks have been in the past. So let's look at gold. So this was looking really good yesterday. Um, we do have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50 moving average. And the last time we had a crossing was basically up here and then it just collapsed. And now we have a crossing again and probably we could push this up towards 1800, 850 and probably 1900 if we break the 200 moving average. But it looks like we're going to see a pullback before going higher. Technical indicators they are either flat or bullish at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So as you can see as well for the silver, we didn't have a massive rally yesterday and then we did a, we broke down quite a bit. We're trading just at the 50 moving average and the 50 moving average offered support. Technical indicators are either turning around or are bullish. So they're kind of all over the place. MACD is bullish, CCI is stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish and so is the RSI. Break below the 50, opens the door to the 20, 20 exponential at 25.5 and the 200 moving average at 25.26. So let's look at platinum. So as you can see, we have broken down quite a bit. Uh, nothing really is happening here. Uh, 
it's not going to happen until we basically break below the 20 exponential. That will open the door to uh, 1145 rally from here. We'll most likely find major uh, resistance at 1243. Technical indicators are basically flat at this current stage. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium did rally yesterday quite uh, nicely, and today we're basically breaking down. And at this current stage, we're probably going to break down towards the 2,750. Uh, 2, that's right around here, and that's basically was the previous highs there before continuing higher. If this breaks, then we have the 20 exponential right underneath here, and that has offered massive amounts of support in the past. Technical indicators are, uh, well, fairly bullish still at this current stage, but... Uh, but but it looks like we are going to turn around here. We're getting fairly overstretched and, and pullback is kind of needed. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did rally yesterday. We did rally today. And now it looks like we are about to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point, but the way this has been behaving in the past is that it has rallied up towards the top Break, broke it down, rally towards top, broke it down, rally, and so on. So a continuation. Doesn't mean that uh, it's a good idea to short this, as this basically is an uptrend, but a pullback towards the middle, that will probably attract a lot of buying. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is uh, kind of in the same place uh, as it has been for the last, uh, basically, month and a half. So... Until we basically break below the 200 moving average or break above the 100 moving average, there is no point of basically uh, trading this because it's completely pure, a pure gamble. It can rally tomorrow towards the top of the bullish band, break down again as it has been in the past. But a break below the 200 moving average and a trending uh, towards the 50, uh, 15,000 level, that is probably what we're looking for. Break A rally from here towards the 50 and a break above that, that opens the door to... Uh, 17,500. Technical indicators are very bearish at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we continue rallying. Uh, we are getting significantly on the edge of being overbought. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point, and we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 50 and the 20 exponential. So we'll probably have a pullback towards this area here, where the 50 or 20 exponential are going to cross before going towards 0 0.1750. So this is a market that has completely turned around, and it looks like we are going to just continue in this bull run. And as this is going to cross here, uh, and pullbacks are most likely going to be bought into at this current stage. So let's look at cotton. So as you can see, uh, we have run into major resistant here, creating a, a kind of a shooting star, which is a very bearish indication. But we need to basically another red candlestick here tomorrow if uh, if uh, that is the case. But we are getting outside of the bullish band overstretched. Uh, we're not overbought yet. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. Uh, and uh, yes, we're trading at about the 50 moving average. So. Uh, if we get another can green candlestick here tomorrow, we could head towards 0 0.9, but then we'll be significantly overstretched. Pullbacks from here, uh, if they offer support, then that's probably where the buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. Break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the middle of the bullish band, and even the very bottom here at 0 0.77. So let's look at Kakoa. So as you can see, it is uh, basically the middle of nowhere so uh, yes it's just doing the same thing it is uh it is um well it's basically been untradeable for a real long time this was a fairly uh, nice breakdown but since then it has basically been trading sideways rally a little bit trading sideways and has no really clear indication where of a trend whatsoever so um i would say far away from this uh, as possible so let's look at wheat so weed has had an enormous day today. So we're trading at 709. So a massive, massive rally. We found bottom here at the around 200 moving average. And since then, we've basically been rallying towards the upside. Fantastic rally. But at this current stage, we are significantly overbought, significantly overstretched. So a pullback at this current stage is a very, um, well, uh, kind of expected. 
if we look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we could see that we could fall back towards uh, the uh, first Fibonacci at that at uh, 666. Well, uh, uh, kind of strange number. And uh, as you can see, that is also the previous highs here and here. And we'll probably find pullbacks, uh, rallies before that, when we basically get to the top of this range around 685. Break below this, we'll open the door to 50. And then we have the 60 here, where also we have the moving averages as well. So this is fairly overstretched and uh, it's not sustainable, uh, these moves to the upside. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us here at eTro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.